Hey, hello everyone. Uh, also, whoever is watching online, thanks for joining. So, uh, without any, without wasting any time, to we'll just jump into our topic today. So, today I've got a very interesting uh, thing to talk about with you guys uh, using related list queries uh, and scripts and other applications. So, I'll just start off. Uh, sharing my screen and you know talk through other items there on so you know many many a times what happens is uh, we do get a requirement and when we have to you know uh, update some bulk records on base based on some conditions or you know uh, repair a particular SLA or we want to check a particular CMDB CI record and do something with the related records that the CI has got. So in a in a similar fashion today, I'll be you know uh, demonstrating a use case that where you know a, a very long script can be turned into few lines of code using uh, related list conditions. Now starting off, so. Uh, First thing, uh, we have got a list of incidents over here. And what we want to do is we want to, so, you know, we want to uh, check the incidents which are not having any SLA attached to them, right? Now, to do this, uh, what, what we can do is we can also build out a report, but we just, just don't want to, you know, check if there are any SLAs attached to it, we want to repair the SLAs as well on the records. Now, if there are you know uh, incidents in bulk on a particular in uh, on a particular instance, well, what we might have to do there are like 10,000, 20,000, or whatever th uh, records that we have got with us. So in this case, we'll have to write down a fixed script or you know execute a particular script. Now. If we are going to execute a particular script, for example, this one, right, where I, the first thing that we'll have to do, I want to check only priority one incidents that are currently active, and then see, uh, look for the incidents which don't have any SLAs uh, attached to it, attached to it with this particular filter. So as you can see, this is the script that I've got here. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm looking up, you know, doing a query for priority or incidents then doing active query and whatever comes out to me, I'm then looking at, at a task SLA table and, you know, then again, passing on the uh, incident society, current incident society over there and looking out for the incidents, uh, the count of the incidents, uh, which don't have any SLA attached to it. So now just for demonstrating purposes, I am having count here, but the other thing that we can also do is we can do anything. Like if, like for example, again, you know, if we're looking at the SLAs, I want to repair the SLAs or, you know, attach uh, the SLAs to this particular incident and I make sure that the SLAs are attached to every incident in the instance. So this is one way of doing it, you know, a query a glide record inside a glide record. Now there's another way that we can do uh, this query. So uh, I know using the related list conditions. So as you all know, if I walk on to the incidents, while this is opening up, let's also Hopefully my laptop doesn't die today. Let's see. Still have to start using my Mac. All right. So we have got two SLAs attached to it, and we have got this related list. To, uh, so we what we'll be doing is instead of doing a you know a Glide record qu uh, query, we will just be doing Glide record once, and we will be having a encoded query using related list conditions. Now, how do you get to those related list conditions? There are a couple of ways of doing it. First one is I can go on to the reports module. Right. Right. 
and click on create a report. And if there are any questions on the chat, I'm alone today. I'll be having a look at it later. So I'll be having giving it the name incidents without an SLA. I'm doing a table rows incident. Yep. And so as per our first script, I'll be uh, selecting priority one and active two, right? So active two and priority is critical, right? So if I execute this, it comes out with around 27 incidents, right? Now we want to check if it has got an SLA attached to it or not. So what we can do is we uh, we have got related list conditions in this and we'll be having, so we are looking at incident without an SLA, which will be a related list condition equal to zero. And we'll be selecting SLA. So SL, task SLA related list. And we don't need any conditions over there. We'll just execute it. Once that is done, we have got around 18 incidents that are not having an SLA. Now, we, I can probably you know, do anything I want with, uh, with, I want to repair the SLAs, attach an SLAs to this, or it can be anything, right? The use case can be anything, but right now we're talking about, uh, you know, having SLAs attached to those incidents, which are not having any SLAs attached to them. So, now we've got a report uh, and it is showing us 18 incidents, which is perfectly fine. So I'll save this and our report is saved. Now, once this is done, I will go to report. We're going to all, I'll open it in a new tab. I'll be executing both these scripts later on to show the exact same result is coming out of both of, of, of both the scripts. Now we have got incident without an SLA. We'll open it. Now, we do have the filter here, but again, as you can see, it is just having active is true, priority is critical. We don't have the related list conditions shown up here. Now, the first way you can do, you know, uh, get out the relate the query that we want to apply to our script is do a right click, show XML, and filter. So once you get, get there, so filter, uh, we do have the query over here, which is active true priority one, and we also have our related list query. So we will just take a copy of this, control C, and we will close this. Now, We'll go back to our script. So I've got the query that I want to apply in the script. This is the query and it's same as above. So I'll just remove it for now. Now we we will apply, uh, we will just uh, do, uh, you know, glide record for incident table and then apply uh, encoded query where active is true, priority is one and related is condition. Where there is no SLA record found with that uh, related to that particular incident once we execute this query so again we can do anything here we can repair the sla we can update work notes whatever we, we can probably take a like you know event whatever you want so there can be anything that we want to do so we right now i'm getting the count of these particular incidents so if i execute this it comes up as uh, incident without sla 18 now uh, as you can see, it's just, uh, I think, eight or nine lines of code. Now, if I go to the app script without related list conditions, where we have, again, uh, we are querying uh, priority one, active true, and while the incidents are being you know fetched. So we are again doing another uh, glide record and uh, where we are passing the instances ID. And I'm getting the count of total incidents and incidents so 
if no SLA record is found against them, I am doing a count plus plus. So count SLA plus plus. And I've got, so if I execute this, it says that uh, total incident 27, incident without SLA are 18. So you can, you can see the difference here. You know, we, are, we don't have to go down the path of writing at least these must, these many lines of code. We can just get this done in a single line, which is this. And I personally really loved it when I came across this recently. You know, and I did uh, SLA repair on a, about 25,000 RITM records. So, which was again, you know, a challenge to get it done. Uh, so this 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 is something that we can use. Uh, and this is how we can use the related list query in the the scripts and now the you know creating a report and going on to show xml and getting out the filter so this is one way of getting the related query now the other way that we can do is we if you you've got asin utils installed uh, and and if you double click on a particular field you know it comes out but here it's not coming out uh, let's uh, probably leave this one and so what we can do is we can go to the report, the actual report that we created. And if we open this condition builder, double click on it, uh, we will have this query over there as well. So that's another easy way without, you know, going to the actual report record. Uh, we can directly click on the uh, condition uh, and, uh, you know, copy the, uh, condi the conditions that the, re the report has got and which will include the related query conditions as well. So, but again, for this one, you need SN utils installed on your uh, 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 on your Chrome uh, or the browser that you're using. Now, in a similar fashion, if you have got uh, this particular query, right, and you want to apply the same, uh, you don't want to execute a script, but you want to check uh, some particular records in a list view, right? So I've got the incident list view over here and how many incidents are there without and without SLAs, right? So again, this is a use case of have, you know, SN utils. So if you double click on the filter, right? So if you double click on the filter, the filter condition, uh, you can, you, and you've got the, the query from uh, your report or, you know, where's howsoever you got it. You can apply the same and you know it will be applied and you know it will be filtered out so same way uh, you can you know you can probably use these uh, related list queries in scripts and you know doing filters in list list view and it is applicable to all the uh, applications and you know many times it, it another uh, good use case of using these would be cmdv where there are there can be thousands of records related to a particular CI or you know and SLAs is obviously there so there can be uh, we want to check if a particular maybe change record is having any uh, outages attached to it so that can be an, it can it can be any table right so we just we are just playing around with the related list here so we're just checking that if it has got any related records and we want to do something about it. So hope this helped and I'll probably switch on to the questions if we have got anything in the chat. Hi Anik, how are you? And people. So any question guys, you just you know feel free to ask. Probably stick for a while. Here. Nice. Nice. Hope it all good. <laughs> I'm trying to find something new, right? Hey, Ani, do you want to join? Like, let me probably do something. How do I invite someone? Nine people are watching us. Hmm. 
All righty. Uh, that's all that I had today. Uh, hope this was, you know, something new and that you came across, and it will help probably writing scripts if you are doing so, and you know, fix scripts and doing some bulk updates to the records of a particular table. And yeah. If, All right. Thank you, everyone. If there is nothing else, I will probably. All right. Thank you, Sudhima. Thank you, guys. See you next time. Thank you.